Well, today we want to help all those WordPress users out there set up Google Analytics 4 using Google Tag Manager. Now, I know these tools can seem confusing at first, but I'm going to walk you through how to do it step by step. Google Tag Manager is a handy tool that allows you to add and manage tags on your website without needing to edit your website's code every time. Now, that means things like Google Analytics, Metapixel, and event tracking. So for example, if you decide to run ads on Instagram tomorrow, you can simply add the Instagram pixel to Google Tag Manager and you won't have to do any coding. Now the downside to using Tag Manager to add GA4 is that it can be a bit challenging for beginners because there's a steep learning curve. But if you're using WordPress, well, Monster Insights makes it super easy and you can do it all from your WordPress dashboard and you won't have to do any coding. Now, this means that you can easily track things like e-commerce, form submissions, link clicks, Google and Meta ad conversions, downloads, user journeys, and a whole lot more with just a couple of clicks. Plus, you get handy reports right inside your WordPress dashboard, so you won't have to go digging through the Google Analytics website to find the data that you're looking for. But if you still want to know how to add GA4 to Google Tag Manager, then let's dive in. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is sign up for Google Tag Manager. Now, you can use your existing Google account or you can create a new one. That's fine. Now, once you're logged in, just click the Create Account button. Then enter an account name. Next, in the Container Setup step, enter the name of your website. Then under Target Platform, choose Web. Okay, now you'll be asked to agree to the Terms of Service, so click Yes. All right, now you'll see two tracking code snippets. You'll need to place those on your site. Now, we recommend using WP Code to do that because it makes it so easy. If you'd like more details, then you'll be wanting to check out our guide where we cover installing Google Tag Manager in WordPress. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, once you've placed the code snippets on your site, you'll need to set up a tag. So start by clicking New Tag. Then give your tag a name, like Google Analytics. Now you'll need to choose a tag type to begin setup. All right, now find and copy your GA4 measurement ID in your Google Analytics account. You can do that by going to Admin, and then in Data Streams, and then you'll need to go to Active Stream. All right, after that, you'll just need to head back to Tag Manager and then paste it in. Now, there are more settings that you can choose from, but we'll just leave them as is for now. Great. Next, we'll need to set up the trigger that tells our tag when to fire. So, since our tag is Google Analytics, we'll want it to fire on every page. So, scroll down and click the Triggering box and choose the trigger called All Pages. Now, click the Save button at the top of the page and hit the Submit button. And there you have it. Now, we hope you found this video helpful showing you how to add Google Analytics 4 to Google Tag Manager. Now, let us know in the comments which method you're going to be using. And of course, if you have any questions at all, put those down in the comments as well. Remember to subscribe to Monster Insights. And if you don't mind, give us a like on this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.